This isn't a video I thought I'd ever make because I didn't think of making a video like this. Never crossed my mind. But now I'm going to do it. Why not? It just came to my head. I'm going to do it. I'm going to talk about miscegenation. Because it's one thing people do shit on Jews for that Brahmins don't shit on Jews for. They might shit on the universities, putting them in permanent debt. They might shit on the banksters. And all the people that are making us fight these dumb wars. The guys in charge of social institutions. They'll shit on all that. But they won't shit on stuff like the crazy immigration. That might be a Vizier thing to diss. But the Vizier's may not dismiss such a nation. So that's very interesting because a lot of people do have a disgust when they see that. And it's perpetrated everywhere. It's perpetrated in our entertainment where you can have a milk toast white couple as long as one person is white and the other person is a mulatto or they go full Wesley Snipes in terms of that complexion. You can have it as long as it's mixed race. A milk toast, boring, uniform, nuclear family. That's okay. So long as it's only white and aesthetic. And that does give plenty of rounds for being annoyed but I notice it's also something that I can't really attribute to a cast because no true Brahmin or whatever well I'm not gonna say that sometimes they do it's not really a cast thing this mixed race couple thing having kids it's something people do when they think it's cool but really, it's not cool. It's like when girls tell each other to, that, you know, you look really cute if you cut your hair. And then they do it. And then months later, they're like, oh man, I miss my short hair. Start crying, getting emotional. Start taking old photos and never upload it to Facebook with their long hair. Start uploading their short hair photos less and less, waiting for that shit to grow out. And it just keeps on going. Well, that reminds me of when Jews start propagating this to white people. They're thinking, okay, this is going to look good on me. You know, having a black guy or a black girl on my side. When later on, they might not agree. Or maybe they do. If so, good for them. There's many ways of looking at this from a far right perspective. You can be the radical and say, well, since this is just weeding out the genetic trash, really, it's not even a casting, it's a thing of who's the untouchables. Because they're not it and they think it's it. Like when nerds think that they're going to look cool if they dress a certain way, but it makes them look extra dorky. Yeah, it's like that. But... That has its disadvantages because you need that undermatch. You need that untouchable chick. That chick has potential for some guy. Some some guy needs it. Or maybe that guy that fell victim to that shit. Maybe some girl needs that. You have a use for that. And from that point you can take a moderate perspective and say, Alright, this needs to stop because 
it messes this civilization thing up, and it does on an excess. In terms of doing it, it should only be done in a masculine way, where the guy takes one of the other girls and basically completely aryanizes her down to her soul, whiteifies her. Is that even a word? Should be. Maybe not. But me personally, that's all I really got to say about this. Miscegenation, I don't like it. I don't like the way it's being propagated on television. I don't like the posers that like it. I think that they're doing it to be cool, but they don't know what... Okay, maybe not the word cool. I know Gra doesn't like the word cool. Because it implies something inherently unwhite. Something negroid in the soul and beatniks like to take it. It's not a symbol of status. It doesn't make you look like you're it. And they want to look like the shit. It's not that, it's embarrassing to see people they trying to make that, see, they see that people are trying to make that into something noble, but they don't try it because they know deep down it's not it, but they fall for it. So much stuff. Anyways, Mr. Wonka 7, and the King of New York has spoken.